Hi, today I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful Spanish door with beautiful, colorful flowers with easy techniques. I'm Alison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for the beginner step by step in real time so you can follow along with me. Let's get started painting. Now all you need for this painting is 11 by 14 canvas and you can put it uh, up this way which is portrait because the door is going to be a long ways. And all you need for your paints are your primary colors, red, yellow and blue, ultramarine blue, cad red, cad yellow if you have that on hand, if not just whatever you have on hand, and white and green and burnt on burnt black. So um, just use what you have on hand, you don't have to not do the painting because you don't have the exact colors. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mix up a really nice background color. So you're going to do the whole background first. You won't do the door first. You can draw the door out first and then paint around it, but it's easier. I find it easier to do it this way. And you're going to mix up a really nice color, like a cream color, whatever color you a light color you want in the background. And um, I'm going to show you how to mix that there now. And I'm also going to show you my brush. That's a bristle brush. And that's the one I signed. And um, so if you have one of those on hand, that's an inch. And then a smaller bristle brush, which is probably a size 8. And you can use whatever you have on hand. Don't, be, don't think you can't do the painting if you don't have these brushes. And then if you have a a chiseled edge sable brush that would be good and that's a size six and we'll have those on hand so just have those supplies on hand and then we'll be able to get started so all you have to do to get your color for your background is to mix some colors now another thing is because we're mixing the colors here brown some yellow some red, so you're getting all those colors together and some white, and that will give you a nice background color of a peachy, pinkish color. Whatever color comes out for you, it's okay. So you have more white than anything else. Okay. Now the thing is, if you've got to go back and remix it, your colors may not come out exactly the same. So if you want to, you can mix up a good batch of it for your background, or you can get um, pre-mixed, a bottle of pre-mixed background color. Okay, well, I'm just going to do it this way because I don't mind not getting exactly the same color. But for this, in this case, you might want the whole thing to be exactly the same color. But the door is going to be going over a lot of it too. So and and, and the flowers and everything. But uh, let's get started with our background color first. Okay. So we have our brown and our yellow and our red and our white. So let's just put that on the canvas, the whole canvas. See, it's a pretty color. And then because I'm used to mixing, I'm probably going to get pretty close to what I have there anyway. So I'm going to be, but I would say you might need to buy or to make up a batch of your background color first. Okay, so there we go. So just put that on there and do your whole background. And just go up and down like you don't want it too streaky. So just make long strokes back and forth or up and down. All right. So keep going. And we'll keep going until we get the whole background down, done first. Pretty background color. Now you can have any colors that you want. You can have a mixture of colors, or as long as the background is a bright color so that it will um, match your door. There we go. And it won't take long to do this, but if you get streaks or if you get the canvas coming through, you might want to do a second coat. Make sure your first coat is dry first, okay? So I just go back and forth, go, I'm sorry, up and down long strokes to get all though that blend it really nice. There we go. Nice. 
So now all you have to do is draw out your door. So draw a door on a piece of paper. You can use a ruler to get the straight lines. And then round the edges off on a straight line over and just use a ruler. And then tape it onto your canvas. Your paint should be dry by now. And then you take your drawing and you take some carbon paper and with your paper drawing of a door on your canvas all you do is put your carbon paper underneath now you might have to lay it on a flat surface to do that and then take the drawing and transfer it to your canvas and you can use a ruler to make these lines nice and straight and then when you do that and you take that off you should have a nice drawing of a door it's pretty simple so hopefully you can see that see there's the drawing and that will be on your canvas now all you have to do is take some blue paint get a sable brush a softer sable chisel edge flat brush and probably a size 12 as long as it fits your door and um, your door is pretty centered on your canvas because it's going to have flowers and everything around there so just mix up some blue if you only have the ultramarine blue it's going to be pretty dark so you might want to add a bit of white just to brighten it up a little bit depending on what color blue you want your door so I'm just going to put that nice little color on there so just go and paint your door same strokes so that you don't get too many streaks so just paint in your door okay so just come down where you ended your lines so that you leave some space for do you even drop a line over here like this with your paint if you want to just to leave to know where you're going to have your walkway all right so let's get the paint on there good nice long strokes so you won't get so you won't get any streaks because if you just put it on like that you're going to get all these streaks so lots of paint on your brush and I'm filling up my brush really good just mixing my blue my white lots of paint on my brush so that I can move the paint nice smooth good so just paint your door blue just so we make it easy all the big details I should say the small details all the small details will come last right now we're just doing the bigger areas of paint just so we can get get it started and get get it going and then we can add all the nice smaller details when we get that done so I'm putting lots of paint on my brush so that it'll be nice and smooth and we won't get any streaks. There we go. I'm not too worried about the bottom because I'm going to have I'm going to have um, the walkway down there. Good. Let's keep putting on the paint until we get it all on. If you got lots of paint, you shouldn't get too many streaks. When you get over to the edge of the line, if you can get it straight, that'll be fine. But um, as you can see in the painting, the edges of the door are pretty rugged because we're making an older door. And we don't want it to be too perfect. So I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to put it up against the straight line. So I can get a half decent straight line and come down on the edge. That's the beauty of these uh, chiseled edge brushes. They'll give you some nice straight lines. That's if your hand don't jerk around too much. <laughs> well, if you don't have a steady hand, don't worry about it because we're going to fill that side in with the. Um, with the uh, the edge of the door and the edge of the door is kind of uh, old looking so it won't matter too much but still you, you try your best to get that as straight as you can 
good and then you come up around the corner put your chisel edge brush right up against the line and come up around the corner good and same with the top if you need a second coat you can do that too good put your chisel edge of the brush right up against the line good and we're going to come around the side and do the same thing put your chisel edge right up against the line and I'm going to come over here because I'm doing the video so I, I don't want to uh, put my arm in the way let's get that done here now you may want to stand on the other so you can do this on a flat surface that way you'll get to uh, get to do your line straighter now see how nice and pretty that is so I'm just going to get this edge done for you so what I did was I just took my canvas because I'm standing up but you can sit down and if you have to turn your canvas around to get that other edge you can do that also so you can always take your canvas and move it around so you can get straight edges or you know, depending what you're doing get those nice edges in here good now so you have your door painted if you need a second coat you certainly can do it I don't think I need a second coat there right now okay, we have the door done now that you have your door done the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your bristle brush okay this is the bristle brush that I have my name on and I find it's great for textures and um, so this is a bristle brush see the top there where it's all spread open and uh, so good for making flowers and trees and leaves and all kinds of good stuff because the bristles take take all the paint and spread it out so I'm just tapping in some dark green you can use hunter green and to make it nice and dark you can add some brown to it and a little bit of red just to get a basic dark color okay you can also add black and green but you know sometimes it gets too black so that's a nice dark green there just by adding a little bit of brown a little bit of red and that really darken it up so now you're going to take your brushes full of paint and we are going to tap on the underpainting for your flowers so the flowers are over the door we're just going to tap 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 looks just just like that see the brush does it all for you I'm going to cut a closer look for you there we go so look see that and it spreads it open for you so the brush does all the work so you don't have to do too much work and just tap on these basic dark green color okay and just tap in it doesn't have to be solid it can be like I you can probably see some of the red going on there too which is nice we're going to be adding color over this for the flowers so put your flowers wherever you want them the, ba the basics for your flowers just tap 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 gently if you got lots of paint on your brush you, you probably need to be a little gentle and just a little more paint a little bit of brown a little bit of red you can even add a little bit of blue if you want right just dark colors and we're going to see now match where your flowers are going to go tap 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 see how nice and dark that is that's what I want I want nice dark and we'll come over here as if the flowers are coming down around the door and then you can narrow them out a bit as you come down a little bit there and a little bit over here some more green paint and we'll tap in some more flowers as they're coming down around the door see Isn't that nice would so just this hang down around the door 
so good and we can spread them out a little bit if you want or put them wherever you want to but as long as they're just on top of the door there they will be nice just hanging down around the door and this brush is amazing for doing those really nice texture um, they look like leaves and the, the brush does all the work for you. If you've got the proper brushes, the brush will do the work for you almost. And you don't have to struggle. I get a lot of people who say, I can't seem to get it right. I, can, I don't know why I can't get it right. And a lot of times it's because of the brush. So you can put more on. You can probably come down a little, almost halfway down the door. Just so that you can make sure you've got green. Not too much other colors. The main color is green. And you can bring it around here and around the top of the door. As we put flowers on we can uh, sort them out more where we want them. We might want to fill up space. Depends on where you want them. They're just growing out everywhere. Like vines and all kinds of good things going on there. Right now it's just the basic color and just a basic underpainting for our flowers and, and what's going to go on there. Okay, so just try to get the like they're hanging vines and hanging flowers next to your door because it's kind of a Spanish door. See how pretty that is? Even just as it is there now, it's once we add color to it, it's going to be even more prettier. All right. So I'll leave that like that for now. Might be a little shiny because because of the light shining on it and it's wet paint. But when uh, when that dries, you'll be able to see it even better again. All right.